So feminism, I believe, is fundamentally a product of our rebellion against God and the way he made the world. So I think it's a product of our hatred against God and leads to the ruin of lives. So your position is that if you're doing something that's not harming so somebody else, it's never an excuse for somebody to harm you. I think that if you're not doing anything, that's Would you agree with that? I don't think it should be like a problem. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Being gay, being transgender, being a woman, you're not harming people by being who you are. How do you know? What's the definition of harm? We're back. You what's know where your, I'm going to go. What's your definition of harm? Uh, violating God's law. That kind of move in a conversation, all I have to say is, but that's your opinion, that's not the actual definition of harm, we're at an impasse. You know what I mean? So like, why am I wrong? You have to tell me why I'm wrong. You know what I mean? that we have, you're basically going to say, well, that's because what God's, we've talked about this, we've talked about well, this I can't do anything else, you know what I mean? But we've, we've talked about this circular argument. I literally have to go back to the Bible all the time. The I'm a Christian. The Bible is correct, but God wrote the Bible. Yeah, but, but you see the problem for you, Shannon, is you can't tell me why, you can't explain to me, so don't reference the Bible. Okay, you don't like when I reference the Bible, or, or you don't like when I re repetitiously reference the Bible. Fair? Okay, well, let's just pretend. So you, I want you to not reference the Bible. Don't reference the Bible, and don't reference the God of the Bible, and tell me why justice matters. That's what I was just talking about. I was talking about all of your arguments are yeah. circular. You're saying... Yes, is that bad? I think that it's not a good argument in my opinion. And, and, so, okay, but if it's just your opinion, that doesn't get much, right? Because opinions can differ. Is it a bad argument, objectively? I think so. Okay, why? Because the thing that is saying that it is real, like, I don't know how to explain it. So. Tell me, without referencing God or the Bible, I know you got tons of time. Why would I, why would I not... <laughs> Hey, we're chilling. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Tell me, what? Why does justice matter? Not, or what not, is justice? Why does it matter? You're listening to the whole thing that I've been saying this entire time. You're changing the subject. What I'm saying. What subject do you want to talk is about? Is saying that God wrote the Bible, therefore yes. the Bible is true. Yep. You know? oh. So if God is truth, God is truth. He's the standard of truth. Yeah. Then because the Bible is His word, it's true. Is an epistemologically valid position. But that's the thing. So a person actually. Is the, like what she was saying, a person is actually what wrote the Bible, and he said that that's what God told him. But how are we going to believe that one man? Yeah, I mean, God, because of the because the actual quality of the Bible itself. So it's it's, actually it's right internal like, attributes. So for example, let's pretend she left you a voicemail. I don't know why she would do that because who who leaves voicemails? voicemails. Sweet. Oh yeah, great. You guys leave voicemails. So Liani leaves you a voicemail. You do you check your voicemails? Wow. I haven't checked my voicemail in a long time. So you check your voicemail. Leonie's left you a message, but she star 69'd it. Or star 67. Whatever the anonymous thing is, right? You couldn't see it's from her. But you hear her. She doesn't use her name. She just like says, uh, you know, roses are red, violets are blue, something, something that rhymes with those words. Okay? Now, you know it's Leonie. How? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's what I'm saying about the Bible. Okay, so the point is, God, yeah. even if God did relay this message to a person, uh -huh. I think the Bible is flawed in many ways because there's no way a person can relay God's message with his own knowledge and words. Like, just. No, that's, that's, that's a problem. You're right. Barriers, like how you can't even explain some things because you don't have the words. Yeah. And then explaining them. With what God is like telling you, yeah. I think God is real. The Bible is flawed, and then so calling the Bible a, a resource to prove that God is real, it's it just like. So if, if the Bible was like this, right? So God says something to me. And I try to grasp it, and then I try to put it in my own words and put it in a book, right? And I call it Third John, right? And like slide it in behind Second John, right? Now, if, if my name, David. So if, if I did that, then my own limitations would come involved, 
in my writing and then would, would show in the quality of what I wrote, right? The problem is the writers of the Bible, while they certainly used their hands and they were thinking, they weren't in a trance, you know, they weren't like floating and controlled. It's not, it's not very polite to interrupt girls. I hear, it, I hear it's misogynistic. I hear it's misogynistic what you're doing and, and I try not to be a misogynist. So, anyway. Right, so, you're right if blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Except the Bible is not that. The time period it was written, how this, you know, women should dress a certain way is, is literally how society was back then. Oh, actually not. Uh, actually, they were, they, they became, they did what they did because of the word, not the other, uh, the other way around. And they did what they did differently than what others did. And how do you know that's true? Uh, because it's told to me in the Bible. Yeah. At least I'm consistent, Shannon. Right? 